Cocaine, ecstasy, and marijuana, just a few drugs investigators believe a Papio La Vista South kid peddled to his classmates. Tonight, we have a closer look at the troubling discovery that led to the investigation and have reaction from parents. Good evening, I'm Craig DeGrelli. Papio South is just one location in the middle of the case. Senior reporter Jake Wazikowski is live with details. Jake. Well, Craig, police say the student admitted to being able to get a bunch of those illegal drugs. Now, some say parents need to make sure that they talk to their kids about the best ways not to get into this stuff so it could be prevented. So that kind of tells us that it doesn't really have many boundaries as far as being an inner city problem versus a sub suburban problem. Just after Thanksgiving break, several Papillion La Vista South students are interviewed about drugs being sold at school because one student was caught with LSD. Sarby County Court documents indicate the student allegedly selling admitted to being able to not only getting LSD, but cocaine, ecstasy, and marijuana. One of the transactions reportedly happened outside Trumbull Park Elementary. Jennifer Green, the director of LiveWise Coalition, says nationally 60% of students say drugs are available at their school. Dealers use it to their advantage. A lot of times for, you know, the, the different gangs and the cartels that are pushing a lot of the drugs through our communities, um, it, they find those easier routes and they know that hitting up those teenagers, they're less likely to make more socially conscious decisions, you know, appropriate positive decisions, and they have easy access to potential users out there. Randall Mowen has two daughters at Papillion South and says they are upfront with him about how available the drugs are, and he frequently reminds them to make good decisions. So it's, it's something that... Uh, I've been very aware of. My kids have told me not to be naive about the accessibility. So it's not a surprise to me, um, but it is something that, you know, concerns me quite a bit. The schools do drug prevention, but LiveWise says it's up to the parents too. They say kids are 42% less likely to use drugs or alcohol if their parents talk to them about it regularly versus those who don't. If you as a parent are not talking to your child about the dangers of drugs and alcohol, they're going to find out from the next resource available to them, which is their peers. And that may not be the most reliable resource, and it may actually turn them the opposite way of what you would want them to be doing. Well, the district didn't get back to me today. The teen in question hasn't been arrested yet, but LiveWise says that this just goes to show that it can happen at any school district. If you want some information on how to talk to your kids about illegal substances, go to our website. We've got a link on this story at KMTV.com. Reporting live near 108th and Highway 370 in Papillion, Jake Wazikowski, KMTV Action 3 News. Similar to